Welcome friends to the class of BUSI 1307 Personal Finance for the Fall 2023 second eight week semester. My name is Randy Sala. I am an assistant professor of business both on Northeast campus and Connect campus welcoming you to the class and I hope we're going to really enjoy this course. Friends, the majority of American families are living in a personal financial nightmare. We are consistently stressed out due to our money problems. Unfortunately, 70% of Americans simply live paycheck to paycheck and really using a lot of personal debt to finance our lives. Unfortunately, the average college student is graduating with well over $40,000 worth of student loans and possibly $10,000 in credit card debt. Is it surprising to know that of all the personal bankruptcies in the United States, 25% are filed by those who are under the age of 28 years old? And of course, you can't file until you're an adult, so that's between 18 and 27 years old. Yikes, that's quite a start to a class, isn't it? Quite an introduction. That's the bad news. The good news is this. If we can start directing our money, using a little bit of emotional intelligence of where it needs to go, I think we can start experiencing a whole different world of financial peace in our lives. And with that introduction, I truly hope you will enjoy this course and take away lifelong learning concepts that are going to greatly benefit your relationship with money. So that is an introduction to the course. My friends, um, your textbook was already purchased when you got this course, and we'll go over that. It's a, it's a wonderful book called uh, Personal Finance by Kapoor. It's in its 13th slash 14th edition. Um, you get the free ebook, not a free ebook, but you pay for that ebook. And uh, I would certainly encourage anyone to find a hard copy of that book. Maybe you can find an older edition uh, online, Amazon, eBay, etc., etc. It's a really good book. You can actually buy a, uh, a paper version from the McGraw Hill link uh, that we'll go over in this video. Um, so I think that you're in, we're in good shape, ready to go. Right here, this is the course homepage. This is how you navigate if you're new to the Canvas learning system, new to online courses. Uh, this is our home. And then, of course, uh, I have your course syllabus right here. These are all PDF files. Download those. Make a folder on your computer. BUSI 1307 Fall 2023. Put everything in there. Good course organization will really help you through this class, especially in an eight-week class because it's going to be fast. It's it's really not even eight weeks. It's only seven weeks. So it's um, it, it's going to be fast, and I hope it's going to be very enjoyable and very uh, worthwhile because you can hopefully learn some new concepts. So there's the syllabus. There's the course organizer. Again, I would print these out. Put them in my workspace area so we know what is always on the horizon to be to do. Um, we have a orientation quiz. You just click that right there once you read your syllabus and your organizer, and uh, you have your lesson unit links right in here. So what I'm going to do now is go over the course organizer and the course syllabus. And so I would simply just download it just like that. All right, we're seeing that, and then there we go. We'll see if that pop populates up. Pretty nice, pretty quick. Um, here's our learning objectives. You want to, again, print it out, read through it. We want to take you on a personal financial journey from the start of a career to the end of a career, all the way through retirement and estate planning. Um, again, the expectations, my friends, this is a fast-paced course. We do have less than eight weeks. And so please be prepared to work efficiently and effectively. This is not the kind of course you can just uh, blow off for several weeks and then try to catch up. If, if you work a little each day, you're going to uh, be very happy with your results. We only have about two weeks to complete each unit. So we have three units, two weeks, that's six weeks right there with, with a little bit of slack play in between. Uh, course organizer that you have will give you a great outline of each unit and when assignments are due. Um, 
we do have due dates. This is, it's, it's, I rarely accept late work because it's just too fast of a semester, my friends. Um, if some type of a problem or emergency occurs, please don't call me 10 minutes before something's due. Uh, call me well in advance, uh, unless something tragic happens, uh, and uh, we'll try to work something out. But uh, those, those are, those are more rare circumstances uh than not there again spend a few hours a day on this course reading the lesson units watching uh any videos that i do have i have lecture videos for you reading some of your chapters and completing those projects you'll be in good shape and you'll learn a lot that's the great thing uh so this is an online class hey uh captain obvious here uh, as an online student it is your responsibility to have very good tech skills there uh, this is not a class that uh, you need to email a professor and I don't know how to do this I don't know how to make a file I don't know how to you pass a little test to get into this um, you do have need a good computer phones and tablets don't work really well with our TCC uh, learning management system uh, or, or any college system. You, you do need a good laptop, you need good internet access at all times, and uh, do have a uh, required technology statement that uh, located on our home page that every every online student needs to do. Good internet, good computing, you're gonna be good. Um, if that's gonna be a problem for you, you, you really need to address that immediately uh, to see if you can uh, handle a, a fast-paced class uh, on, online. So some of the expectations friends i don't make this to be a hard course i make it to be a great course a very important course for you i have a lot of stuff out there we have some signed chapters of the textbook i do have some videos that i would do it lecture style so that will really help uh, cement in your learning we have some written projects we have discussion boards and we have some quizzes okay again two three hours a day working on this class will reap a lot of benefits for you the way the course is grade, I, I only record your efforts. I don't try to trick you up. Uh, what your efforts that you do, I, I put them in your grade book, and, and at the end of this semester, there's your grade. Um, here's what we have. So we have an orientation quiz at 25 points. We have three quizzes at 25 points. All right, the orientation quiz I just give to you right there, so you get 25 points off the get-go. It's kind of like a little contract that you understand how this course works. Three unit quizzes, five discussion boards at 10 points, and then project one, two, three. This is the real learning right in here. I do a case scenario of, of, of questions that most American families simply cannot answer, and they're not that difficult. They're really not. I want to help you prepare your journey in life. That gives us 750 total points. And this is how it breaks down. Gold, silver, bronze, that's all we want to look at right in here. If I were to make a grade like this, the only reason that would happen to me is because I didn't do my work. That's it. All right, all right. Here's how the course organization, we have unit one, two, and three, planning your personal finances, the culture of debt, and, and purchasing strategies and we end up with investing and of course completing your financial plan which deals with insurance retirement and estate planning i give you notes i'll give you videos this is this is these are your resources we'll go over this just want to let you know how all that works then basically in every unit you have some discussion board activities you have that written project and again they're questions i have a separate video just for that and how to get that done how to format it. I, I, I don't leave you on your own on that. I try as best I can to, to help you through this. And a unit quiz. So um, there's things. I'm just trying to go over this you know, quickly because you can read it all. Attendance. Attendance in an online class. Yes, we do take attendance. Um, the way we take it is, the way I take it for you, is, is your assignments. So a discussion board, a quiz, a project, an orientation quiz. If I Doing all those, I have, I'm counted present. If I miss one of those, that is an absence, uh, that I missed that due date. And uh, now, if you have taken courses at Tarrant County College, you may be aware that some faculty members, once there's so many absences that a student has, a student could be dropped from that class. I want to tell you, I don't drop. Uh, I believe that is your responsibility. There's a lot of issues uh, with dropping classes as a student. There's financial aid. There's veteran, there's scholarship, uh, there's just different things that, that go on. So uh, if you feel that you need to drop the class, 
please don't. That is your responsibility. It's not the instructor's responsibility. I will not drop you. Okay, uh, that's why I highlight that. So uh, you know that this is this is on our own, and it's all good. How do I communicate in this course? Well, I will put out a variety of announcements. I'll always try to keep you in tune of what's coming on during the weeks. Uh, I'll send out emails as well. So check your your Canvas email. We we are in the process of of changing out emails uh, right now at the college. So but so always check that Canvas uh, email that you have. Um, you will have a TCC email and again they will go to both the TCC and the Canvas. It's a little bit changing right now but uh, always check that Canvas email on there and usually they comes out as notifications. As you email me please have a subject line that this is BUSI 1307 and then have the section number 86001. I do teach seven classes and when I know exactly what class you are communicating about I can answer the question so much easily. Uh, so there we go. Just proper email etiquette in here. As an online instructor, you know, I will try to respond to those emails. Uh, we say 48 hours. Usually it's faster than that uh, on a regular business day. Uh, if you email on the weekend, I will answer that on the following Monday afternoon, best I can. All right, you have your weekends, and, and we want to keep those as, as, as clean as possible for everybody. I will grade quickly. I know that's a big issue with students, and I agree it should be. We, we should get your grades within, within at least uh, a week after the due date uh, for, for working days, business days, and uh, usually sooner than that, especially on those written projects because I'll have also analysis for you, what, what you, what you might want to improve on or how you did on that. Monitor your discussion boards that we do uh, when they are and, 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 and work you through the class. You, you'll be hearing you know, a lot from me in this type of communication. If you ever need to email me, again, use that Canvas uh, email for right now. and It says email instructor and uh, I'll work with you as fast as possible. If we ever need to do an MS Teams meeting, you can email me and say, I, could I talk to you on Teams? Could you please call me? I have a question about something and uh, we'll set that up. All right, I will not leave you uh, in the dark, so to speak. Uh, now let's just breathe. Mm. You know, on the first day when we read that entire syllabus, it can be overwhelming. And uh, so just take a, a deep breath here and relax. We don't complete this class in a day. Yes, it's a fast-paced course, but it doesn't mean it does it in one day. I think the best way to succeed in an online class, in pretty much any way in life, especially in the crazy world that we live in, focus what is directly in front of you. So during this class, as this semester goes on, let's just focus. We may have a discussion board that week. Check that organizer. I have quizzes. Now the quizzes are open for that unit as soon as those unit opens. So you have at least two weeks to get that quiz done. It's not a day. And you have three attempts. I'll take the highest one. So I'd say as soon as the unit quiz opens, take it, see how you do. Do a little more reading, do a little more research, and you have three more times, you have two more times to take that. And of course, the written project, which I have videos on how to do it, but if you'll complete two questions a day on that written project, and they're sequential questions, uh, again, please watch that video, you'll be in great shape to turn in your projects by the deadline. If I try to do work at the last minute on the day it's due, uh, it's, it, it's, it's not going to be pleasant uh, and I probably would not get the grade that I know I could get because I'm just, I'm just trying to get too much done. So please, uh, you know, work a little each day. You're going to be in great shape. I think, I think this is the most important class you ever take in your college career. It's interesting as conservative as the state of Texas is, we do not mandate a financial literacy course in any grade level from high school to college and this is probably why some of the problems that we see happening this course is about you and it's about your money all right it's about building a healthy credit score it's about eliminating debt it's about systematically investing in the future we can start doing those things up building a good emergency fund uh, we should have a content feeling about our finances and you just can't get this from any other class so I'm glad, I'm excited for you to take it. I love teaching it. We're gonna make it a great semester. I'm gonna come right back over here 
I'm going to click my course. I'm going to click the course organizer. And again, click the little arrow so you can download that. Um, and then you can print this out and you can save it. So as we look, there's the course. These are the weeks. Just an idea of what I should be looking at uh, when my orientation quiz is due. Chapters one through five, my first, I should do a nice quick read through here. Look at your, look at your activities that are going to be done. Discussion board, work on your personal planning finance right in here. There's your unit quiz one. So as soon as this unit opens, that quiz is available. You get to take it three times. There's our due dates. Yes, it's going to go fast, but you, you have time. Two questions a day, you're, you're going to be really good and you're going to learn really some of these uh, uh, different ideas of personal finance. So there is your course organizer. It's done very well. Um, and then here we are, man, December 7th. Uh, that's when our plan is due, our last assignment, and we've, we've, we've got our course done. And you've got a lot of things to learn in here, which is going to be great. It's going to be great. So print that out. That will show you, again, when things are due, so you always have an idea. Again, don't want to leave you in any type of a bad situation. If we come back up here, look at this class. That's always our home page. Again, if I go to syllabus, it is, there's my syllabus again, I can download, but this tells us when things are due. So I like this course summary right in here. So it's like the orientation page. If you ever see something, a date that, wait a second, this doesn't look right because my orient, my, um, my course organizer and this seem to be a little bit off, just, just send me a quick email. Um, hey, TCC is basically the power of a ginormous corporation. And I say power, the power that we need to, of servers and IT. And a lot of things do get uh, kind of kicked out once in a while, you know, when you do a lot of updates. So just, just let me know. But, but these are your dates. I have everything due by 11 p.m. And, uh, you know, I'm trying to get you as much time as possible. But your, your discussion boards are usually always, are always going to be due. Well, I hope they're always new, on a Saturday evening, okay, at 11. So you get the whole week to do it. And again, they're, they're fun. I love the discussion boards because you can really learn a lot from each other. That's the syllabus, but the most important, come to the modules right here. So there's your orientation quiz. Boom. Get that done. Give you 25 points. It's just I'm ready to take this class. You should, you should have that done by day one. When this class opens up on October 16th, that should be done. So here's how my modules work. Now, I am showing you the instructor view. Your student view is not going to look like this. It's going to be a little bit cleaner, a little bit easier, a little bit different. But since the course hasn't started yet, I have to do you my view, or we couldn't see anything. Everything would be locked up. So there we go. Welcome planning your personal finances. I give you a little bit of an overview of the lesson. I give you a checklist, what you should be doing. And then there we go. We're looking right into here. The deliverables. So we have an orientation quiz. We have any discussion board activities. We got the quiz and we got the project. So that's that. You hit the next button. I give you resources here. So I give you a giant PowerPoint if you'd like to download that. You can download it, print it out. Um, if you're ever on Northeast campus, you're more than welcome to come see me or make an appointment. I do have some printed out booklets I can give to you of PowerPoints. I'm happy to do that. What I have here are videos. So if you were taking, I teach this course on a campus as well. So planning personal finance part one, part two, part three, this would be my version of the book as well. So hit those videos. They really ought to help you again between reading that and watching and listening to the video. Yeah, I think it, it just helps students get a better idea and students do like these. So these are the videos that I have for you. Again, they may be between 30 and 45 minutes, uh, uh, just like you would be in a classroom and you get to hear my lovely voice again. As I keep clicking through next, I give you some notes. So if you'd like to PDF that, print those out, this very much follows the book and they're just, just extra resources. Any resource I can get for you to help you get better. That's what this course is about. It's about getting better with our money. It's it, it's not a it's nothing about dates and history and, and, and laws as much as it is. Hey, uh, I, I can do better uh, uh, and get better. Mortgage calculators, good looking websites right in here that you might need. Uh, and again, 
take advantage of everything that I have, put these websites and then and then at least you know bookmark them uh, for you because you're going to be using this in the future. There's our first discussion board. Again, it's the introduction to networking. We want to build our network as much as possible. So here, you know, we do every bullet point right in here. You post your topic first, and basically you hit that uh, reply button, and that's going to be yours. Each discussion board is worth five, excuse me, 10 points, and there's five of them. There's 50 points, six points for your response, and two points for each student response which is up to two, so a total of 10 points right in there. So I do mine, I, I tell you all my information, and then I comment on two other of my classmates. I get 10 points, and that's easy 50 points, but more than an easy 50 points, this is the first fun one. Then we get into how to save money, how, how you know, what are some things that you do to uh, curtail your spending, uh, do you believe in emergency fund? We learn a lot from each other. This is a, a, a class that we learn from each other as well. So. Take these seriously. How these grades, your thoughts should be at least 100 to 150 words. Okay, Just don't go, hey man, this is me. And dude, that's amazing. Uh, at least 50 words. That's a minimum. That's only a couple of sentences. But, but uh, be thoughtful here. Uh, a one sentence response just is not going to get us anything. So between 150 up and 50, 75, that's minimum. Uh, you'll really get to learn a lot from each other. So take advantage of the discussion boards. It's great, and that's where we do get to learn a lot from each other. There's our quiz. I've got a quiz review. Again, you get three attempts. You get 60 minutes to take it. If you think you need more time than that, let me know. It's only 25 questions, and they're a point apiece. So, and I give you three times. And so take advantage of that. Some students only take it once and they don't get the grade they want. Well, why not? Here's the big hitters, my friends. So this is, and again, every, the three modules are going to look this way. So here's our project one. There's the project itself. So again, I download that. But watch this video. I, didn't, I don't, don't want to spend too much time on this because I've created a whole video for you. It's how to write, format, and submit your projects. We are writing business style writing. We are not writing English compositions. So we're not using double spaced long paragraphs. We're using single space. We're using bulleted paragraphs. I show you everything how to do it. I also go over the grading rubric and I have a grading rubric and a formatting for those projects as well. The more you write, the more intense you, you make it, the higher your grade becomes. Um, you know, one sentence answers are, are, I can't even grade, so it becomes a zero pretty quickly. Once in a while, I'll have a student that just tries to do a one sentence answer to every question, and if I can catch it quick enough, I'll say, look, this is a zero, I'll give you a chance to redo it, but that, that's not a college quality work. We're, we're looking for that college quality, because you'll take these papers and you save them, because when you look at the questions, they're relevant to our financial life, yeah. How do I increase my credit score? What are some techniques I can use? How should I start planning my finances? What investments should I start using? Uh, a tax audit comes, uh, you know, what are my options? So I have them in there for you and they're gonna be very good and a very good experience. So video, please, I implore you, watch that. And it gives you your dates right in here. And then we come into the culture of debt. So again, we go to modules right in here, module one, module two, module three. So I don't have as some courses to have every assignment out there immediately and it's very confusing. We're working in modules. All we have to do is focus on this module during the time frame that we that we need to do that. And that's going to be how we navigate through this course. We do have your book. It's McGraw Hill Connect. So I'll hit that link. There we go. Go immediately to my section, okay? So it's paired with this course. If you ever run into a problem with McGraw-Hill, there's little I can do about that, okay? There are some learn about Connect. There, I mean, check some of these guides right in, in, in here. And there will be some, some uh, areas that you need to, um, for, for help, for, for contact. I go to my course section. Now it's going to be different for me, so I can walk you through a little bit of this. And there we are. It's going to, it's going to look like this when you see it. 
and then there is your book. We are in the 14th edition. You can launch the ebook from here. So again, you have a little different view, but launch the ebook. When you, and it'll ask you to sign in with your email. If, now very important, it asks you to pay for anything, something went wrong, you can let me know immediately. McGraw-Hill is very good about this. They give you a two-week free trial. So if it says you need to pay for this course, this book and it already was taken out of your tuition, choose the two-week free trial and then let me know. So I want you to have access to your book immediately. Then send me an email, all right, through the Canvas system, and uh, I will contact uh, Connect. Again, we're using lots of technology. There's a lot of servers. There's a lot of updates that go on. And once in a while, something just gets kicked out. But the two-week free trial gets you two weeks of that free book. By the time I can contact Connect, they'll have it fixed in a couple days, and you'll never have to worry about it again. So if you have any problems, hopefully you won't because it is all synced up. And then again, as you launch into your ebook uh, reader, you'll go right in here. And again, this is going to be the table of contents, personal finance, right in here, your introductions. And it is a excellent book. Uh, it really is. And I would hope that you enjoy it. And if you ever have the opportunity, my friends, to purchase a book, it will on your area, it, I think it will say um, purchase option. And that purchase option right in there would, would be worth it. I think they charge you $40, $40 for a hard copy that you bound up in a, in a binder. It's just good stuff that you'll use. And I think it's one of the best personal finance uh, out there that, I, that I've ever seen. That's why I've used it for so many years. So that's how to do your McGraw-Hill Connect. If you ever, again, uh, people in the class, if you need to email anyone, we'll show you right in here. Here's where our grades will be. There should be no grades in there yet. This will be populated, but there's, you know, that's how we would look at, at, at our grade book. So, all you really have to worry about not worry about this concentrate on syllabus check your announcements and check your modules that's where we're going to go in there and again there is your direct link to your textbook your textbook will is very important because that's how you're going to answer your questions on your written projects and it will be something that needed to be a cited source but where do I tell you all that I tell you all of that right in your project planning so I have videos throughout the course to help you get along through it, to help you enjoy it better and, and learn. Uh, I'm excited for you. I'm excited because it is a great class. I learn from you. Hopefully you'll learn something from me and from the way the course is organized and we can get better at, uh, at this crazy game, this crazy world of personal finances. So let's, my friends, let's make it a great semester.